Hello, Leo and Cross Watchers. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we are going to look at your December monthly tarot reading for the sign of Leo. If you guys are interested, you are more than welcome to enter into the drawing that I have. Um, I offer a free personal reading every month to a lucky subscriber of the channel. All you have to do is enter your astrological sign in the comments below. Also, if you guys would like to contact me for personal readings, business inquiries, anything, you can feel free to email me. The information is in the description box. So let's see here, Leo. We're going to pull a couple cards from this good tarot. Then we will get right into the spread, the meat of the message, as I like to call it. Two sixes. Also, if you stay until the end, I am going to pull a daily affirmation card. A power thought card by Louise Hayes. Louise Hay. So that's going to be the new thing. So let's get into it. Six of fire. Six of earth. Patience. And ace of air. So the six of fire symbolizes a person who It's like a spiritual leader, a spiritual healer. In this deck, it symbolizes stepping into the limelight, um, influencing a lot of people. And the Six of Wands also does kind of similarly represent that. Um, in some decks, it does uh, symbolize a leader leading a spiritual gathering, um, feeling very rewarded, right? The Six of Earth is the Six of Pentacles, symbolizes an unexpected gift. In some decks, it symbolizes um, breadcrumbing, but in this deck, it symbolizes an unexpected gift. I feel like you've been working towards something. You've had patience. You've been having patience. But I feel like this is about to take off. I feel like with the new year coming, a lot of people are becoming more spiritually enlightened and more attuned to their body and the energies um the old ways of living right where we're more attuned to our energies and what our body is telling us instead of just living day to day materialistically um and i feel like what these cards are saying is this project or position that you've been holding is about to take off to the next level. So let's see here, Leo, what else we can see. Now, please keep in mind, guys, this message is general. It's not for everybody. So if it's not resonating, then I do apologize. It's not for you. Um, but for those who it is resonating with, you have already been working on this project. It may be in the beginning phases, um, but it's going to, it's about to take off. And if you don't already feel rewarded by helping people on their spiritual path, you will very soon. So let's see here. Most important message for Leo Spirit for the month of December. What does Leo need to see here? Month of December for Leo spirit.
This is a past card. Past life connection. Could also symbolize something from your past helping you in the future, right? It doesn't always have to be a relationship. It could be energy. Um, it could be a, a, an attribute, a characteristic that you've carried, maybe a special ability that you've had is what I'm sensing here. I feel like there is some healing that needs to take place. Acceptance, rather. I feel like this acceptance has, is what's been causing these delays um, in this venture. And I feel like the venture that it's talking about is this opportunity creative endeavor that you've bet that the oracle or the good tarot was discovering right that beginning phases of your project i do feel like you will be very influential There's also, I'm going to get some clarification here because there, it seems I was feeling this energy. There's two queens here and that usually tells me that when it's, um, when it's one of the court cards, it symbolizes a person in most instances. When it's a king or a queen, it usually symbolizes somebody who is more mature, but it can also symbolize somebody who is closer to us as well. So there may be some juggling here, Leo, that you're doing between a fire and a water sign. Um, there needs to be a decision made. A balance. You're going to have to leave one of these people behind. You have to get focused. You have to get micro focused. And this indecisive um, energy is going to have to be resolved. Okay. Let's get some clarity on the star in reverse spirit. Why is the star in reverse here? So, judgment in reverse symbolizes a harsh, quick decision. Um, I feel like this is saying that you're going to need to release this competition. Um, rather, comparing these two people. You're going to have to make a decision. So let's see here. Let's see here, Leo. Two of Wands. Two of Swords, I mean. Two of Wands. Two of Swords in reverse. What is the outcome of this spirit? What what is this two of swords in reverse here for? One of these people is going to be, I feel like you feel stronger ties to one of these person than another. Um, and you may, for whatever reason, be delaying that connection or the other person may be delaying the connection as well. I feel like the delay in that other connection has to do with money. has to do with finances 
Five of Pentacles, Spirit. What is this Five of Pentacles here for? Caution. Pay attention. Whenever that page comes up, it symbolizes pay attention. I feel like you're going to be walking away. Whatever connection that you're in right now, you're going to be walking away from this person. Honestly, feel I preach being on your own and focusing on yourself until you heal. Not everybody wants to do that. Every Most people, they don't want to be lonely. It's, it's not easy at first. It's something you have to get used to. But once you're alone for so long, you get used to it. You adjust. So let's see here, Leo. Let's get some fairy tarot out here. I honestly feel like my little alone period, my hermit moment has been very liberating for me. Learned a lot about myself, about my expectations. So here we go. The, the devil card is coming out. As I said, um, there is a need to let go of this competition. This is the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is confirmed here. There may be some information that's going to be revealed that helps you make this decision. But all in all, Leo, I feel like there's a need to release one of these or both of these connections and focus on this opportunity that's coming in where you're going to be influential in people's lives so let's get some psychic then we'll get the guidance and then we'll do the affirmation i haven't forgot One thing that I do want to touch on really quickly here, Leo, is um, you may feel tied, tied to a certain connection, okay? Try and release that feeling. And how, how do we do that? Well, we've focus on other things. We focus on hobbies, on business ventures, on career opportunities. A lot of people will get into other relationships to tie up their time. <clears throat> Whatever the case here, the cards are telling you, Leo, that there is a need for acceptance. There is a need for healing if you are um, going back and forth between two people. I feel you feel very stressed about this decision, very anxious, very worried. Take a step back from all of the connections. And focus on what it is that you truly want. What characteristics do you envision your partner having? What, how do you see your partnership being for the long term? Is it 50-50? Do you want to be the breadwinner of the house? and have a wife that's going to sit at home and let you take care of her? Are you going to <clears throat> be the person who sits at home and is taken care of? There's different scenarios. Everybody has their own liking. That's why there's a need to get clear on what it is that you want out of your relationship. That way you can match up the characteristics with your perfect partner, right?
Oster Ostra fertility. So someone could be pregnant, but don't stress, don't worry. This is also symbolizing that it's a perfect time to start projects, start creative ventures, access new ideas. Um, there's also a need to let go. Now, I feel like this is this acceptance piece. Let go of judgment, mostly of yourself. And focus on the love and light within everyone. I get a sense here, Leo, that you're going through, and honestly, a lot of signs have been going through a transformation. It's sometimes it's going to feel liberating, right? Sometimes it's going to feel daunting. Ugh, stress, low vibration. Take time. Take time, self care, meditate. So, meditate. I might actually do a video on this, but I've learned a technique and I'm still practicing myself to kind of get centered, get focused. It's hard sometimes for me to pay attention because I have, I have ADD, I feel, even though I haven't been diagnosed, it's hard for me to pay attention. So I feel like I have like some type of disorder, not disorder, but something that's hindering me from being focused. So I try to do what I can to stay focused. I really have learned to kind of not get frustrated with myself because when I get frustrated, I don't do nothing. But learning to flow with the energies. And one thing that's helped me is meditation. So when I need to like relax for even just five minutes and I can't calm my mind, I'll light a candle and look at the flame and like breathe and try to breathe and focus on breath and the flame. That's all. Because it gives me another thing besides my breathing to focus on, but it's not something that's extra. You know, it's not like extra stuff in the world to be anxious about. Just a little tidbit, I may do a video on the meditation technique, um, the candle meditation technique. Um, I just like to know, I like to be an expert on a topic before I release a video to try to help you guys about it. The review and release video that I released, that's actually a technique that they use in psychology in a lot of uh, cognitive behavioral therapist offices, um, where when you first go in there and they don't know a lot about you, they'll have you write out a timeline um, to try to dig deep into those childhood traumas. So that's why I say you can use that timeline for anything for review and release. But I do feel like that will be helpful in this acceptance piece. That video, the review and release video, it is linked in the description box, will be helpful, Leo, for those of you that are resonating with this to really let go of those outdated belief systems and accept the parts that we play so we can tame this inner beast, right? So let's get this positive affirmation before I run out of time because the video always clicks off right before 30 minutes. I don't think it's been that long yet, but we're getting close. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support that I've seen here on the channel. It's very much appreciated. Um, just a heads up, I am here probably after the beginning of the year, not going to be offering personal readings except for the free ones that I do for the channel. So, Leo, I see clearly I willingly forgive, I breathe love into my vision, and I see with compassion and understanding. My clear insight is reflected in my outer sight.
Beautiful, beautiful, positive affirmation. That card is from the Power Thought cards from Louise Hay, if that's what, if you're interested in those cards. So, Leo, that is the message that I have for you guys. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.